Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris, and I'm a certified galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some channeled information, delving into the higher guidance messages coming from Vega Star System and the enlightened ancient and future timeline of the Vegan Masters. Why, you might ask, why now? Our sun will be in a conjunct alignment with Vega Star beginning around January 5th, 2024 into the 6th and the 7th. And it's a time now really for us to lean into this energy, receive support, receive guidance, receive connection, and to be listening in communication, in dialogue with this star energy as we open up January, the first month of this new year, 2024. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm excited to share with you in this new way. So in the past few months, I've really been integrating my Vega star soul connections. And this has been coming through in my Reiki journeys to the 11th and 12th heavens of consciousness and using Reiki energy as a means to connect with the enlightened expression of these energies, of these beings, of this star consciousness. I was asking recently, what message do you have? What message do you want me to bring through in particular from the Vagan masters, these future and ancient timelines of like the highest enlightened wisdom? And so I was guided to use Lisa Royal Holt's Galactic Heritage Card deck, wonderful deck, Highly recommend it. It comes in the physical. It comes in an app. I'm not an affiliate. I just use it all the time. So I like to share about it. And I pulled out all the Vega cards at one point. And I was like, no, I just need to use the whole deck and see which Vega card is the first one to come out. There are many different Vega cards from past timelines, future timelines, present timelines. And so the card that came out was this one, Logic and Reason, number 26, Vega, present timeline. So this would be a second era civilization that's more matured, learning its lessons, yet still making some mistakes, going through some growing pains as well. Core component to this card is finding a balance in a healthy, developed, grounded mental body, but not an over-reliance upon it for navigating reality. So not navigating reality just based on your mind, yet not also being like ungrounded in your mind where you just, ah, you know, it's like there's nothing, right? It's like having having a grounded mental body that's developed to a certain extent, but not only using the mind. So too much mental body in the offshoot races after Vega, the offshoot races being Zeta Reticuli in the Atlantean epoch on earth. And these cause problems, problems which eventually led the Zeta Reticuli to be in a species crisis and be contacting earth humans for help, like needing to integrate back in with their emotional body and their ability to procreate, continue their species. And then, of course, in the Atlantean epoch, which was on Earth, you know, another timeline in our ancient history, if you want to look at it from a linear perspective, where the masculine energy was predominant and it was so, so mental. And I've done enough readings and journeys for people to see that it was not just that energy that was kind of, it was kind of like now where like the mainstream is in one place. In Atlantis, the mainstream was in the 
masculine principle, definitely in the mental principle, but there were pockets that were holding and preserving and cultivating the feminine, even in Atlantean times. This is what's been shown to me. This is what I've been involved in. And this is even what I, I've been shown in so many of my soul family who come to me to do this sacred work together, that they were parts of that divine feminine preservation during those times and preserving the ways of the emotional body and the intuitive body. So it's really important with this card showing up, the ancient vegans, the future timelines of the enlightened vegans want us to know to hold space for honor and express our emotions. And as a Gemini moon in the sixth house, I admit easier said than done. <laughs> Literally easier said Gemini moon, I can talk about it, fix house, I can, you know, strategize with it, analyze it, but actually holding the sacred space and honoring, expressing those, that can be harder. So I was really keen to hear what the ancient vegans, the enlightened future timelines of the vegans had to share with us about this. So I'm going to read to you now the channeled information I received from these enlightened, vegan, multidimensional, interdimensional beings in my Reiki journey. They said to practice habits that foster mental and emotional balance. Discipline can be rightly used this way rather than used to turn off or suppress, repress emotions. It's a more preventive type of discipline that proactively sets the space for emotional and mental balance, stability, and equilibrium, wherein a healthy calm abides and sustains, so that when an emotional wave sweeps through, it is simply a fluid wave that can move through and be released. It must be acknowledged to extract and receive the wisdom contained within it, for there is a seed of wisdom to be collected. When emotion arises, close your eyes and notice the oscillation and waveform of the feeling flowing through. Let it be a physical and embodied present moment experience. Notice it as sensation, as data, as information, neither right nor wrong, good nor bad. Just be there, be present, and breathe with it. The seed of wisdom will very often be the case that your nervous system is overtaxed and you are in need of deep rest and restoration in these times of intense change, uncertainty, and transitioning paradigms in your individual lives, and in your collective earth human experience. Allow yourself to rest and receive the frequency of soothing and relaxation. An overworked nervous system with the amount of information being downloaded into your energy bodies of varying frequencies at all times can often produce emotional and physical sensory experiences that totally defy logic and reason. And logic and reason are not the way to work out or override this emotional response. It is completely natural as you adapt to the frequential changes occurring within the human organism and the structure of the earth sphere, as well as the solar system and Milky Way galaxy as a whole. The nervous system soothing and presencing has a way of lifting your frequency to match higher and more evolved timelines of experience potentials, which are for your highest good and the highest good of all. Taking the time to stop, rest, go within, and receive soothing enables your system to accommodate the influx of light and to self-discriminate frequential threads that match what you wish to cultivate 
in this lifetime. That is why we also recommend consciously working with energy and having a frequential energy filter, such as Reiki or another energy modality that helps you automatically bounce in or bounce out the incoming vibrations. Reiki, other spiritually guided conscious life force energies, and enlightened guides are aware of the higher laws beyond human logic and reason and can make these finer and subtler discernments on your behalf when you give such enlightened energies the conscious invitation and permission to do so. The enlightened vegans are happy to assist you in this process. Simply invite us in and receive. We advise first and foremost for 2024 to build out your inner world with beauty and bliss. This ensures such expressions taking form in your outer world as well. Remember to value this and trust this process of inner to outer. It's an unlearning and relearning for many of you. And many of you will find that with some practice and observing of positive results, that this way of being really comes quite naturally to you, for it is a part of your innate design in truth. Know that we are supporting you now and always. We are always available to give you that big, expanded, objective view that is always attainable deep within yourself. And I want to also mention that during the journey and during my automatic writing of this information, the birds outside were so loud. They sing here in Hawaii a lot, but they were very, very, very loud. And I feel this energy is being transmuted and transmitted through our physical earth birds and it's also coming through the birds in the sky vega being a part of lyra's constellation which is depicted as the vulture carrying the harp or the lyre the bird also cygnus the swan with the star de Navadij, and another star that i learned in its beak the Pluto moving into Aquarius will actually be activating. And then this third bird in the sky, Aquila, the eagle, an Altair star. So it's very interesting here. We have the sun moving in conjunction with Vega star, the vulture, the first bird. And then we have Pluto entering Aquarius, following the sun making a conjunction with the star in the beak of Cygnus the swan, our second bird here. And then as Pluto moves through Aquarius from its entry point January 19th to 20th, 2024, through the subsequent months, it goes all the way out to two degrees and some minutes of Aquarius conjuncting nearly exactly the star Altair in our third bird, the eagle. And then it retrogrades and it dances back through the birds. But it's following the sun as it enters Aquarius. So we're getting this bird wisdom, this bird messaging, this intelligence, this higher guidance, this activation of our ability to fly, our trust in our ability to fly to rise above, to keep our eye and our focus on the bigger picture. Heaven on earth for all. The highest possible timeline for you, for me, for all that is, for all earth humans, for as many of us who wish to be on that highest, most evolved, most beautiful timeline of grace and beauty and bliss, and cosmic peace.
connection with all that is. So with that, I'm going to close and wish you well. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. Mahalo.